won't wait for majoritarian governments to enact or delete laws, SC on section 377 inches. Won't wait for majoritarian governments to enact or delete laws, SC on section 377 The SC bench said the moment it is convinced about violation of the fundamental right, the object of these fundamental rights give power to the court to strike down the law. The Supreme Court on Tuesday said it cannot wait for a majoritarian government to decide on enacting, amending or striking down a law if it violates fundamental rights. The Apex Court made the observation while hearing a clutch of petitions on the validity of Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code. We would not wait for the majoritarian government to enact, amend or not to enact any law to deal with violations of fundamental rights, a five-judge bench headed by Chief Justice Deepak Misra observed. The bench said that the courts are not in obligation to wait and would act if any violation of fundamental right was brought before it. The moment we are convinced about violation of the fundamental right, the object of these fundamental rights give power to the court to strike down the law, the bench said. The bench made the observation when advocate Shyam George. Appearing for some Apostolic Alliance of Churches and Utkal Christian Association, submitted that it was the legislature's job to decide whether to amend or allow Section 377 in the statute book. The lawyer also referred to the term sexual orientation and said it cannot be read interchangeably with the term sex used in Article 14 and 15 which deal with the right to equality of the citizen. He said the term sexual orientation was different from the term sex as there have been several kinds of sexual orientation, besides the LGBTQ, lesbian gay, bisexual, transgender and queer. The SC also said, we have already expanded the scope of the meaning of sex. You need to respect the natural process of law. If any sex is against the order of nature, it doesn't lead to procreation. Section 377 refers to unnatural offences and says whoever voluntarily has carnal intercourse against the order of nature with any man, woman or animal, shall be punished with imprisonment for life, or with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 10 years, and shall also be liable to pay a fine. The top court had on July 12 said the social stigma and discrimination attached to the LGBTQ community would go if criminality of consensual gay sex is done away with, while maintaining that it would scrutinize the legal validity of Section 377 of the IPC in all its aspects. The court had observed that an environment has been created in the Indian society over the years that has led to deep-rooted discrimination against the community which has also adversely impacted their mental health. Earlier, the government had left it to the Apex Court to test the constitutional validity of Section 377, urging that issues like gay marriages, adoption and ancillary civil rights of LGBTQ should not be dealt by it. 